Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly read. Um, and this is for the sign of, oh, Aries. How funny, I, I did Aquarius and Aries, I think, first up in the monthly reads too, and they've both come up first in the weekly reads. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> okay, Aries, this reading is from the 2nd, excuse me, to the 9th of June. If the reading doesn't resonate, please use your intuition. That's why you're here. Um, move on to the next either aspect of your natal chart or next reader. If the reading doesn't resonate, then it's not for you. And you should know that as soon as you start to feel it. If it doesn't feel right, don't keep listening. Okay, using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot and we have the King of Cups here. Of course we do. The King of Cups is a person who's very much in charge of their emotions. They're really understanding how their emotions lead them astray and they keep them in check. Doesn't mean they don't feel them. They're strong, strong feelers. They just know how to use them. Can represent the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like this might be your energy at the moment. Something here has not been revealed to you. So you're waiting for something to be revealed. And it looks like someone's bringing in a message. Something that will close out a cycle for you. It definitely brings you a brand new start and victory here. So... What you've been waiting for here is coming to you via some sort of message here. But it helps to close out something. Could be closure on something. Whatever it is, it is bringing you into a brand new time where you're feeling very, very much alive and living in your truth. Let's see. Okay, so I do have the Knight of Pentacles coming in here. So the Knight of Pentacles is a messenger. He's very slow. Very slow indeed. Um, he's because he's representative of the earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. He's planned, he's methodical, he's organized, he will think everything through before he moves forward. He's probably got a list of things and how he's going to do them too. Okay, we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming in here. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about things going in your favor here so the universe is starting to change things around so things start to pick up for you and things start to happen the way you need them to for some of you this is about a love offer maybe you've been waiting for a while on an offer from a water sign maybe you've given a water sign an opportunity and they haven't taken it up before but now they're ready to move forward with you yeah, haven't taken it up before. This could be someone you know already, somebody from your past, some sort of past energy here. This is about equal give and take. So you could have worked with this person before and they weren't investing in this relationship. Yes, you weren't investing. But now they are ready to invest. Um you may be quite defensive to this energy when it comes back in because you're not really sure you have all the information. You might want to work on this situation, but because you don't have all the information and possibly this person has left you with a bad taste in your mouth previously. But now you have to try and work out, is it worth taking a chance and moving forward on or do you just leave this where it is and move on here? Okay, so here... We have either someone waiting on a water sign or someone taking on this energy of a water sign. The moon's here. And what I feel here, it's like you felt very strong feelings for someone or somebody, possibly somebody from your past. But there was something you weren't really sure of. So maybe you've offered them love before and they've knocked it back. But something's coming in here to give you a brand new start and victory. But I feel like you're not really sure whether to move forward on it or not. So someone is coming in. It's been slow, so it could have been a period of time. But now the universe is saying the time is right now. And this offer is coming in, um, as I said, very strong earth and water here. So someone who's very grounded, but full of love. I feel like you may have offered this person something in the past. You may have even had a relationship with them in the past, um, but there was no equal give and take. In fact, they were quite dissatisfied with the relationship and quite possibly moved on. They may have ghosted you with that moon up front, but whatever it was, you um, you fought. You fought for it, but it didn't do you any good. You wanted to work on this, didn't do you any good. So you were quite sad that you couldn't make it happen. 
Um, and now they've come back in and want a second chance with you or an opportunity to pursue what didn't happen before. But I'm afraid you're sort of stuck in this Eight of Swords energy here where you're not really sure because you're stuck between the moon and a hard place. So it's sort of like because it wasn't good before, you're not really sure whether to accept that again. I'm going to put another card on the Eight of Swords. Yeah, the time is right now. This is about justice. Um the devil's here as well. So it was about ego before. So this person may not have pursued this relationship because the time wasn't right. But something karmically now is here to set this back into progress and put it right. So things are starting to happen here, Aries. But this is up to you whether you move forward with this or not. Um, I'm going to use the um, Le Vampire Oracle for a little while to have a change. I do have the card of seduction and it's about allure, desire, manipulation. So maybe you have a right to be a little bit cautious with this. Maybe you were manipulated in the past. Maybe this person is trying to seduce you now and they're not the right person for you. But I'm sort of glad that you're in this energy of I'm not going to let it happen until I know it's right. So cautiousness is definitely part of this. Thanks, Aries. Have a great week.